Hey, what's going on? It's the Bearded One back at you again. New video. Hey, so in today's video, I want to talk about something that has really changed. It's, it's actually really changed the landscape of the real estate industry. Okay. So back on August 17th, it took effect into our buyer broker agreement. So what does that mean? That means that now for any potential buyer, you have to have a signed agreement to show a property to any buyer. So how does that affect you? We're going to talk about it right after this. So stay tuned to this video. All right, so let me get into today's video. But before I do that, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Maurice Murphy. I am a licensed Florida realtor. I talk about a few different things on this channel. I talk about my VA buyers. I talk about my sellers who are traditional sellers and those who are going, going through a divorce, those sellers as well. I talk about what's going on in and around the city of Jacksonville. And last, but definitely not least, I talk about beard, beard grooming, and what am I doing in my beard to keep it looking as best as I possibly can. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, click subscribe button give me a thumbs up and don't forget to click notification bell so you know exactly what my next video okay so let's get into it right now because this has been the hot topic of the past few weeks buyer broker agreements are now mandatory for all agents so what does that mean for you as a buyer before I get into that let's go back and talk about how this what is all, all this stem from August 17th went into effect that now all buyer agents have to have a signed agreement whether it be just a showing agreement or whether it be a broker agreement between you and that potential buyer that they have to sign before you can show them any properties. They've made that a, a rule across all realtors. Why did it happen? So there was a NAR settlement made that sellers felt they were paying for the buyer's agent when they shouldn't have. They thought that that should be put on the buyer themselves. That caused a ripple effect to now we have to have a buyer broker agreement signed between a buyer's agent and a potential buyer, whether you want to show them a property, whatever services we're providing to them, we have to have something in writing between that buyer and buyer agent okay so let's talk about this so now what does this add mean so if you come to me as a buyer before i can show you anything or do any work for you we have to sit down and go over an agreement of saying hey here's how much i am requesting to be paid or be compensated if and when i help you purchase a house now sounds simple enough please understand that that is a buyer's responsibility now previously it was all together between the listing agent and the seller because what the listing agent would do was hey mr seller i'm asking for this compensation and in that compensation i will compensate any buyer's agent that brings a buyer to the table that's no longer the case so now i know it's kind of it sounds kind of confusing it sounds kind of convolu convoluted whatever the word is anyway whatever it is now a buyer's agent will have to sign an agreement with the buyer stating that this is how much i am expecting to be compensated when you purchase your home now that responsibility is on the buyer but what we are seeing happen is the buyers are usually asking the seller to help them compensate for that buyer's agent they had to pay for to purchase their home. So it's kind of the same thing, but it's just split between the two. It's no longer coupled together with the listing agent's compensation. It's two separate compensations, listing agent and buyer's agent. Buyer, seller is all separate. But now the buyer is asking the, the seller to say, hey, I'll purchase a house if you help me compensate my buyer's agent to help me buy the house. That's the whole thing that has come from it. I mean, that's overarching, but I mean, so now buyer's agents have to spell out how much they want to be compensated. It's no longer on MLS. There's no longer a set amount in the MLS that says, okay, hey, if you bring a buyer, this amount is what you'll be compensated. That's no longer the case. Everything and everything and everything on the table can be negotiated between buyer and seller, buyer and buyer agent. You know, it could all be negotiated now, openly negotiated. So that really has changed a lot because me personally, I'll be honest with you, I have not ever before now done a buyer broker agreement because I've had that trust between me and that buyer. You know, we just work together and it's worked out well for me. There's been a, one situation where it backfired on me, but that was a learning lesson. And I, even then, after that, I still didn't use them because I started changing my strategy and changing my approach with those, any potential buyer that wanted to work with me. But now it's mandatory that I do it. So now I have to do it. What does all that mean for a buyer and seller? So now buyer will go to seller. Now let's say if seller says, hey, I can't pay X amount, I'll pay Y amount 
to you for you buying my house and compensating your buyer's agent. Now it becomes a negotiating between the buyer and the buyer's agent and say, hey, since I couldn't get why, how can we make this work to where you still can purchase the house and I still can represent you in this transaction? It's gonna be completely and openly negotiated. And then if something happens, I mean, the buyers may just end up having to pay that difference between X and Y to compensate their buyer's agent. I know it's a lot, and some of you are probably wondering why the hell this is a big thing. I don't know. I just I just work here. I, I don't know. I'm just trying to follow the rules and not get myself fined. Hi, <laughs> second for Marshawn Lynch. I'm just here not to get fined. So I'm not gonna get too much more deep into it, but that's kind of where it is. And I know that may be a little clear as mud. So if you have any further questions on this topic, wanna un really understand what's going on, leave me in the comment section below. And let's set up a consultation and really talk about this by new buy a broker agreement that is being put in place okay so that's all i have i am the bearded one sorry for this tough video today but if you want more clarification want more information hit me in the comment section let's schedule something let's talk about it all right so that's all i have for you today i'll see you in the next video